Hi folks, it's Amy, and I just wanted to talk to you about the Administrative Professional Capstone course and where to go next and how to begin this journey. This is your um, kind of course that prepares you to complete your degree. This is where we'll assess that you meet all the competencies of your degree and it kind of pulls everything together software wise and organizationally wise. And so I just want to touch base um, with you about how I would kind of set this up and, and where to go next. So the book that we'll be using is this Coaster's book, blue, it's small. It looks maybe tiny, but there's a big pack of punch in here. Um, what will happen here is you will be the administrative professional for this company, Coasters, and it's going to be critical that you read and get really comfortable with this, with this text um, with regards to their organization how the projects will be coming to you, your supervisor, and et cetera. So I'm going to lay out in the video how I would approach this. Um, but again, you really want to take some time to get into this book, read, and get things set up properly. So you will be working for coasters, um, et cetera. There will be five projects in here, like stated. You can go to course information and get your um, schedule um, so you know when these assignments are coming due. In the assignments, area here. Um, I have it laid out so you'll submit your, your projects here. Um, but if you need any resources on how to do anything, we have some start guides and some, some software related tutorial tips for you. Okay, so um, in this course, I will also evaluate, again, those competencies, and it's called the Technical Skills Assessment. So we're going to need to start getting your files and everything ready for that piece. I haven't really decided how to do that yet, and I'll um, touch base with you on that as we get further into the course. So um, the data files that you will need for this course can be found here or on your CD. Um, and again, um, you will be the assistant getting these documents ready. It is going to be critical that you organize how you're going to complete these tasks with to-do lists. Um, you're going to have to keep a running calendar and you're going to have to be able to share these files with me. So what I would strongly suggest doing is using your school email. And if you come into here, you just does not want to go here. <laughs> um, but you can come into here and you can come to your calendar or your OneDrive and you can share files that way. I'm going to log out of this right now and see if I can log back in a different way. So while I'm logging in here to my email, the reason that I would do it this way is because you will be able to do screenshots of your calendar, you will be able to share files, and all of the different types of requests right through here. So this is what your email will look like. You'll come here, um, your calendar is down here, and to me it would just be the easiest way to share those pieces. When you come into the OneDrive, You can do this at the end. You can upload files. You can start a new file, however you want to do that. But then once you have a file there, I'm just gonna pretend that um, I'm going to share this with you. I can get the link here for each individual item you'll see there. Or I can come here like this and click the folder and get a link. And a link and now I can give you access to that. Close. The other thing that I can do is I can actually share it with you and this even gives me more rights which is kind of nice. You just type in my name and there's only one of me here and you'll just send me a message like project one and then you'll hit share and I'll get an invite in my email and I'll be able to look at those files. Or you can upload them individually to um, Blackboard. I would prefer that you do it this way though. Um, next, as we look into here, 
you will see that you'll be working for Melinda O'Neill and she'll send you um, items via email that are on the disks. There'll be a to-do list, all these different types of things. As I started to dive through project one, I will be creating a document like this for you. I'll be putting this out there in the announcement, but it's going to give you the items that you will need to turn in to complete the project. So you'll need to send me a to-do list. You'll then have these projects. Um, and so this is project one, that's number one here. What day it was given to you and the task that it was. And then the last thing you'll submit is your calendar. And again, I would love if you would track that all um, in your WITC calendar online, um, because you would also be able to do tasks and those different types of things. As you come into project one, uh, you'll see here that this is where the documents go, will go. The evaluation rubrics are here um, and some other items that you may need. There's a project one meeting here, and this is just for us to touch base to see how things are going. I'm not going to make this really formal, um, but again, this would be a great time for you to connect with me. If you're having questions and whatnot, the best time to connect with me would be during my flex lab hours. And again, this is just an overview, but you would find those there and we could just communicate to see if you're having any issues and etc. So that's how I would approach this next um, phase of the capstone course and getting your feet wet. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Good luck.